This weekend, a Utah World War II pilot received a recognition not only for his service in the war, but also for his passion to lead. Emmett Cyclone Davis, as he's known, passed away last November, but his family was on hand for his Hall of Fame induction. As one of the few U.S. pilots who flew during the Pearl Harbor bombings in World War II, Emmett Cyclone Davis from Roosevelt met the Japanese fleet head on. He uh, was leading a flight over Pearl Harbor to escort some bombers out to look for the Japanese fleet. And uh, by that time, every Navy gunner was uh, anything that flew, they were shooting at. So uh, dad almost lost his whole flight uh, there. They had to turn around. He nearly lost his life that day. His family believes leadership and his fun character led him successfully through his mission and also earned him that nickname. And dad had a maneuver where he would spin up and come down on people's tails and they would call it the cyclone. And so then they started to say, who's gonna fight the cyclone tomorrow? And that name stuck with him and forevermore he was known as Cyclone. As his family watched proudly, Cyclone became part of the Utah Aviation Hall of Fame at the Hill Aerospace Museum. He was decorated 45 times and one of the amazing things about him as a pilot, he was also a test pilot at one point in his career, but he flew well over a hundred different types of aircraft. Everything from bi-wings to Mach 2 air, uh, jet fighters. Pearl Harbor may be where Cyclone's story started, but it certainly isn't where it ends. He went on to fly more than 100 different aircraft and now will be forever remembered as one of the elite. All of his units, when he commanded the 35th or the 8th uh, fighter group, they always renamed it Cyclone's Flying Circus. And that was what the sign would say. Love that nickname. <laughs> Cyclone retired in 1963, turning down a promotion in order to spend more time with his family.